David Letterman was leaving his late night show at the end of the year. I'm leaving The View at the end of the week. So I had to see him one more time, and thank goodness he said yes. Please welcome back David Letterman. <laughs> applause we have no time for questions well i heard the questions uh, during the commercial and i get my shoes out of a box in my closet thank you for sharing that with yes. me. first of all thank you for being here oh it's a great pleasure I, to be here I know, and that's why you've been on once in 18 years well okay. i yeah, yeah, typically no. don't get up before one or two in the afternoon no matter what we're, i'm very pleased and very touched that very you're here. pleased and very touched uh, to be here uh, as uh, well and uh, the retirement uh, thing I, I if you're like me i'm sick and tired of people coming up to me and saying oh you're retiring yeah. what are you going to do me too mm -hmm. so what do you say well I, I forget that i'm retiring that's the problem and and so i don't have a good answer and i just say yeah I'm, 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 me too and i keep i keep moving <laughs> I'm in the same place. But now I think I've made a terrible mistake. I don't feel like retiring now. Is that true? Oh, no, yeah. I, I got to gotta find something to do. What do you, Any well, openings here? <laughs> a <male? laughs> yeah, Wait, if you could stay on, you would not want to stay on? Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's time for me to uh, leave what I'm uh, presently doing. I, uh, so many times I'll be doing something else and I'll say to myself, oh, dang, I wish I didn't have to go back to yeah. work. Mm -hmm. See, now that's a sign. Yeah. So yeah. I think I would like to do all of those other things whereby I say, I wish I didn't have to go back to work. But then occasionally, uh, you spend some time at the house <laughs> and you think, ah, oh, just start checking the one ads. So, do, you think, do you think Barbara's announcement of her retirement had anything to do with yours? Did she inspire you? Yes. <laughs> By the way, this, I don't know if you've ever had the, the thrill and the good fortune to go through makeup here. It's, it's, it's like a factory. It's like yes. a warehouse. <laughs> Thousands of people can be made up at once. And I go in there, and there's a team of what appear to be high school kids rubbing this woman's legs <laughs> vigorously. And I said... They were tanning her. They were putting the body on the body. No, no. Dave no. walks in. It was and quite I a said, scene. Hey, what is this? Jealous. A circulation problem? Are you all right? Good but lord, you know, what a scene. Dave, literally, you have changed the late night television show. Boy, genre. have I. I mean, it's. You got. You got your top ten list, you got your uh, stupid pet tricks, but yeah. now it seems like it's been this kind of generational shift and the internet is very, very huge now. So what do you make of the entire landscape of TV? Well, uh, and again, this is a, a reason for me to think about uh, g going elsewhere. If you take a look at it, it really has shifted out from under me and, and all to the good. Oh. And uh, Well, I think the, uh, the, the people that are doing these shows now, of course, you have your Jimmys, mm -hmm. uh, and then you have, um, <laughs> uh, you have Stephen Colbert following myself. And then, yes. and then you have the, the junior varsity that goes on after these guys whose names I can never remember, but they're great. Yes. Uh, and uh, the, the, it's not a TV show anymore. It's, a, um, it's like a marketplace uh, where, where people can all connect and interact, and I think that's fantastic. Well, and that really is keeping up with the, uh, the, uh, the new communication, the, the new electronic media. So Colbert is taking over for you. Why do you think people are so freaked out by this? Why, they, why, why all of the... Freaked out about, uh, about making a political yeah, make issue. It a political issue. You you believe he can do this, right? He's good. He, he's wait, a, wait a minute. There's questions oh, about yes. him not being able to do that. Well, think, you know, because yeah, he does his character of, yeah. on, on his show, and people yes. are wondering: Is he going to do the character? Is he going to be him? Is he too over t politically leaning one let me, way? Let me just say one thing. And by the way, this point uh, I have not heard of. Yeah. Take a good look at me. <laughs> okay. I've done this show for 30 years. If I can do it, I'm pretty sure Stephen Colbert can do it. <laughs> Yours are pretty big shoes to fill, though, oh, David. No. You, 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 know, you have said very often that, uh, that the one that you admired was Johnny Carson and, uh, and tried to follow in his mm -hmm. legacy. Right. What's your legacy? 
I don't know. I can't speak to that. But Johnny Carson uh, was the gold standard. Uh, but that column is different. Th that column no longer is in effect. Mm -hmm. uh, we now have a, a different column of uh, the, the way we judge and the way we interact with these shows. Uh, for, for, for that show, which was a talk show and a variety show, a guy you wanted in your living room each and every night, mm -hmm. that was Johnny uh, Carson. Uh, now it's different. Uh, the show is 24 hours a day uh, with uh, social media. You're connected. Uh, you affect the show. The show is done for you personally. Um, so it's all it's all different. So uh, that gold standard, I think, has been retired. And I was always just kind of a an anemic version oh, of the gold standard. Yeah. I was I was the nickel plated standard. Oh, no, 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 easy, no, no. easy. Seriously, okay. now let's get a hold of ourselves. But you know, was there somebody that you wanted to interview that you never got a chance to? A question people ask me all the time. Yeah, Alex Trebek. <laughs> Barbara has been on your show 27, 27 times. You've 29 interviewed, times. 29 times. Wow. And you've interviewed her, and it's so great watching the clips because times. you bring out something in Barbara where she becomes so giddy, and she's this little girl. What is it that you bring out in Barbara when she's sitting next to you? <laughs> but it is, nobody can bring this out in Barbara. <laughs> Where well, does she get that way with you? I think for that answer, you could ask any woman in the audience. <laughs> We, we know very little about you personally, uh -huh. but I want to ask about your little boy. How old is he? Harry is and, 10, and, yeah. and uh, is anybody... He oh, yes, he's really very funny. Uh, we were... Uh, uh, I was driving into the city with him a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I don't forget keys typically, but everybody forgets their keys. So now we're on the road. I saw you nudge her. Did you... Were you locked out recently? Yeah. I got my, my, the phone call from my daughter when I went phone system. Yeah. yeah. In the hallway. Yeah. The keys. Yeah. The same thing. And, and I finally say, well, I guess I've swallowed them. I can't find them anywhere. <laughs> so now we're driving into the city. And, and earlier in the day, I was telling Harry, because I, 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 as a parent, I don't know. I, you got to tell your kid important things. So uh, I, I said to him, I said, Harry, the most important thing in the world is to do good things for other people. Okay. No, no, I'm not kidding. That's the most important thing. If I drop dead tomorrow, I want you to know that the most important thing in the world is to do good things for other people. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so now I've lost the keys, and, and every, a perfect day turns to chaos and a lot of fretting, and oh, what are we going to do? And I said, look, I said, the worst that's going to happen here is we'll have to spend the night in a hotel. Can you live with that, Harry? Will you be all right if we have to spend the night in the hotel? And he's very upset. So now we find the keys, we're on our way in, and uh, I'm quizzing him now. We're two-thirds of the way into the city. I said, Harry, What's the most important thing in life? What's the most important thing in the world? Do good things for other people and don't lose your keys. <laughs> Good. I just have to say again what it means to me, to all of us on well, this show. You got, this upside, so you got oh. this upside down because uh, when we started this show, I was like 17. I, it was formal, <laughs> I was an intern, and I, there was a theme writing contest, and I, and I won, and they gave me the show, and, and we were nothing. Uh, just a dog and pony show. And Barbara Walters would come on the show and gave us instant credibility because uh, an icon now, uh, also an icon then. And it meant so much to us that this woman who everybody knew and knew that she was the gold standard was endorsing our show. And she's been back uh, 29 times. So really it's all upside down. And we have just decided I know your wife is going to be surprised. <laughs> we are walking into the sunset together, oh, David yeah. Letterman and I, and nice. th I just wanted to announce that on the show, right? Uh, yeah, sure, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, and good luck, and God bless everybody. Thank oh. you. Good luck with those legs. Thank you. Thank you. If you miss a moment of The View this week, you're missing television history because Barbara's saying goodbye as co-host of The View with a week-long celebration of superstars, surprises, and must-see moments you've got.